Hello, welcome on in. My name is JStation64, and welcome to the Little Ghosty Games channel, where we're playing Jammy Dodgers. Uh, I am joined, as always, by three wonderful adventurers to my side here, uh, as we return to the wilds of Outer Scrumbry uh, to uh, face the... Uh, well, you've faced quite a lot of things already. Uh, now it's, <laughs> it's more facing, carrying things about. But before that, we'll let our wonderful players introduce themselves. Uh, so up first, we have got... Uh, Basque, welcome on in. How are you doing today? Uh, hello. I'm Ali, good to see playing one play pass. Who's a, who's a Tabaxi Ranger? Hi. <laughs> uh, and how is, how is Basque doing at the moment? He's doing all right. He's shot some spiders, so he's feeling, he's actualized, I think. He's enjoyed the <laughs> shooting. Good. He's, he's bounced back after being attacked by an ogre <laughs> flattened and almost killed have you got over that back. kind of um that enmity that was there for a little while <laughs> he's he's still covered in grot though i think ah, that's true when we left him like he's got various substances all over all over End and of sentence. not a small number of those substances came from jump how are you doing today <laughs> hello i'm amadan i'll also be playing jump your very friendly little kobold sorcerer. Jump's having the time of her life. <laughs> She's never had an opportunity to, to romp through green fields before and fight massive wasps and slay hushberries. <laughs> um, Jump's feeling good about everything, but she's getting a little bit sticky as the honey in her backpack is seeping quite, quite liberally through the loose weave and into her scales. Is mm. um, is romp a relative of jump, or is it just something that uh... <laughs> jump likes to romp and jump, jump, jump romps and jumps, jumps and romps and jumps. <laughs> They're yep. all synonyms now. It's fine. <laughs> Absolutely, chomps, chomps occasionally. <laughs> and speaking of chomping, uh, we do have our party pastry professional, Rusty. How are you doing today? Uh, yeah, all good, thank you. Uh, it's good to be back. Keen to get on it. Cool. Do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, I might. You can shroud yourself in mystery. It's fine. <laughs> uh, I am um, Rev Ted and I play Rusty Demain, uh, who has been doing some Hollywood style action stunts in the last uh, the last session. So uh, he's giving it the old Charlie Big Potato today. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's been really enjoyable seeing uh, Monk do like action Monk stuff. It's been very, very fun. I like that a lot. Um, so, as we last left our three um, brave adventurers, they had just escaped the tall scrumbry field grasses, uh, fleeing from spidery, crabby-like stalk spiders that uh, spat foul ink in the eyes uh, and consumed several of the Bad Batch members, uh, presumably. Um, as you fled with the Bad Batch's um, collection of berries. You had two barrels fulls of berries. Um, unfortunately, as you leapt to your various leaps of freedom across the uh, river and to the path on the far side of the field, uh, one of the berries got a little bit lost, so we lost about half a, half a barrel's worth of berries. Um, but considering you came with a request for two pails and you now have about a barrel and a half, not bad going. Uh, as well, of course, as a, a, a large, sticky backpack of honey. <laughs> are they actually called the Bad Batch Gang? Sorry. I've... They are now, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> after, you, after you guys named them that, I'm uh, like, I'm yeah, <laughs> I was dubious at first because like, I just finished watching the series and I was like, I can't get those confused. But now I'm like, no, definitely the Bad, <laughs> definitely the bad Batch. <laughs> so, uh, we... Barry. <laughs> named Barry. I take I notes. <laughs> Uh, I think Barry might have might be gone now, as well as several others <laughs> who, were, who were named characters for a time and now have been consumed by uh, by stock spiders. Mm, uh, don't get Barry, Person or Pearson and Liz, spelt with two Z's. Yes, <laughs> that's correct. <Nice. laughs> Did I say it was with two t two Z's, or have you just intuited uh, that? That's just the how I write things. <laughs> uh, that's that how I got it in my notes. That's good. <laughs> 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 
It's like uh, a small game I play with myself whether I get the spellings of what you say. <laughs> Some of the names I come up with. Um, yeah, good luck. <laughs> so we find you guys on the side of the road. Um, Thimble, out of breath, panting next to you, uh, carrying one of the barrels. Uh, and you guys, I'm guessing, largely sprawl, sprawled in a pile at the side of the road. And the other. How are you guys feeling? And what's the plan? How, what are you guys doing? Uh, I've got in my notes that uh, Basque was blinded. I'm, I'm guessing Basque still isn't blinded. Uh, I think... I had stuff in my eyes. You did. Um, I think... Did you manage no, to clear it off? because there was... Go on, sorry. We jumped over a pond slash stream slash ditch and I fell near to, not into, near to said ditch. <laughs> and I think I used that water to clean up Yes, you, you took a shot, I think, uh, to try and help Rusty as he as he made his dramatic action hero escape from from the exploding field that was it was actually on fire, which I remember now. <laughs> um, and I, I like how we say it was on fire, like it was nothing to do. It just happened to be on fire. We certainly didn't set it on fire. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it, it was like that when we left there, so it's not awful. <laughs> Uh, and it probably is still burning now as you guys look over um, and uh, Thimble will kind of sit up uh, from his from his exhaustion and, mm, this is why I uh, generally don't uh, come oh, berry picking very often far far too um, energetic wait a minute oh. you said it was easy you never had any trouble and <laughs> you, it was a walk in the park. <laughs> I've never had any trouble before. Um, you three do seem to uh, attract the entertaining situations. And he kind of like wipes some of the goop away from his arms that have been like, spat by the spiders and stuff. <laughs> well, at least the uh, at least the, the goop covers the bee stings. Uh, less explain, <laughs> explain to do silly when you get home, that for sure. Yes, I don't know if it's soothing, but it is um, It is covering it, at least, anyway. Uh, I should probably begin to make my way back. Are you... Uh, what's the plan? Are you coming with me to see my Tilly? Time of day, is it? Uh, it's probably about midday. Uh, it's going to be more than a day's journey to get back to Scrumbury from where you are. Um, yeah. Or actually, jump and Basque, you guys have got like crazy good navigation skills, if I'm correct, right? But Bet between mm -hmm. you, like, there's no real, there's no real issue. There's no. <laughs> um, you can work that. You can probably get to Symbol's Cave um, by nightfall. Uh, it's probably going to be dawn by the time you get to um, Scrumby. If you were to head straight there. Is there any chance we could sleep over at your house? Of course, of course. But Bez, you, you've, you, you guys have stayed there before, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. I, I'm sure Tilly hasn't taken the bed down or anything, so uh, not a problem. Fantastic. Do, uh, are we are we going back to Erin, or are we just going to bypass him and leave him in uh, hopeful, blissful ignorance? Erin uh, is on the way home between the cave and the town. Um, so you can you can still decide to bypass him if you want to, oh, but um, but yeah, that's What's that's the decision. For them. Did I get that's the wrong one? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so you're heading back to Thimble's Cave. I yeah. think so. Sleepover. <laughs> a bit, bit of a mess. Uh, Thimble will carry one of the barrels. Um, who's who's carrying the honey in the the remaining half a barrel? I'll carry that. I'm strong now, I am. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Lift with your knees. <laughs> yeah. Easy for one such as I. <laughs> <laughs> I still have this image of like a spinning top, like just two little legs and then it's a barrel. Like, <laughs> <Just cigarette. laughs> point me in right direction. And I'll, I'll follow the next person's smell. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, as you make your way along the path uh, next to the tall scrumbery fields and leave the smoky trails behind, uh, in the uh, after a while you get to the edge of the forest, the Sweetwood, uh, and take a turn 
into the forest. Maybe a different path than the path you took in last time. Because you're coming from the from the, the far side, the north side, rather than the south side where you came last time. Uh, and F, after a while, uh, you manage to make it back uh, to the cave. You can see in the distance a small fire uh, just outside the cave as it gets to nightfall. Um, and nothing seems to bother you whilst you're walking around with Thimble. Um, you see oh, maybe several things maybe on the periphery having smelled honey and berries and, and coming to have a look but uh, most of it seems to be kind of fairly innocuous stuff uh, as you approach the cave um, you hear a dreadful uh, scream echoing out from Thimble's cave as uh, Tilly comes stomping out is where the bloody hell have you been look at the state of you and uh, grabs his arm and drags him into the cave and looks back at the three of you. Oh, you, you three still with him then? Come on! And uh, and kind of indicates for you guys to come <laughs> into the cave. Well, we said we'd bring him back safe, like. <laughs> Do you call this safe? Look at the state of him. And uh, it begins, like, getting uh, picking, like, thorns and stuff out of his skin <laughs> and wiping away the blotches of... Is this, is this ink? How did you get... Where have you been? And... Uh, <laughs> Begins kind of working away, uh, clearing up. Um, um, Timble, that's his name. There we go. I knew he had, I knew he had a name. <laughs> um, uh, literally that's trailing. Go slide up to Tilly and that's... go like, um, I am glad that you appreciate that this is not an acceptable situation for anyone. And then he'll kind of wait until she looks like she's nearly done with Thimble, and then he'll sort of stick out his arms because <laughs> he's feeling quite disgusting. <laughs> And would quite appreciate some of the grub being removed because he's had a very, <laughs> had a very day. Uh, and she will probably turn to you and say, well, you were supposed to be looking after him. How's he got stung? He flattened me. I thought he would be fine. <laughs> Did you know how big them, them wasps were? No. They were like bigger than me. Well, I can, I can see that by by my lovely thimble here. He's covered in all kinds of um, stings. I don't know what the word is for a sting on your. I think it's just a sting. <laughs> I'm not a medicine man. Yes. <laughs> a woman. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, and uh, thimble will will try to excuse. Uh, the, like, I'm I'm fine. Don't you're fussing too much. So, sort out the 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 fuzzy one. Uh, and uh, as as Tilly begins to kind of uh, wipe down Basque's paws, um, Rusty and Jump, you guys can can settle yourselves down, and, and uh, Thimble will begin to to, to apologise. I'm I'm so sorry to have come back so late, and uh, it's uh, and in such a condition. And oh, oh but uh, but they did have an idea. Uh, Rusty and Jump and Basque said uh, maybe if if I came and did this more regularly and got berries, then uh, we could sell them to the town, and we could get you. Um, all, all of the things that you wanted, like the extra books and the bookshelves and build that little library back there and, and stuff like that. And um, Basque, you, you feel her like, she's like very viciously scrubbing your hands in, in, a, in a bad mood. And as he talks more about the things that she might be able to get Aww. from the cave uh, with, the, with the money from berries, it gets lighter and like, it's, oh yeah, maybe. Uh, we'll, 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 yeah, we'll work into that perhaps, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you do know that you can get some kind of magical rope that uh, that, that you can use to tie up, and then there's sometimes it's like a safe word, um, and they undo. You know, it's you know, obviously <laughs> in your predicament that we found you in. It, it, it might be quite helpful. You know, magic magic rope, eh? Uh, where, where'd you get that from? <laughs> do you use a magic uh, rope for magic? <laughs> <laughs> I I um, I'll ask you about that later. Thank you. Uh, that's well, so I've heard. You know, obviously, I, you know. I, write I that down, Thimble. Oh no, you can't write. Sorry, I'll write it down for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, she will offer you guys some. Um, you, as as you kind of come into the cave, you're hit by the the wafting smell of um, a very fine broth, and she'll offer you some boar's broth. Um, help yourselves. It's uh, quite 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 fresh. Uh, and uh, you can you can have some of this and have a night's rest. Sounds right. Do you say play. boar's broth? Yes. Okay. <laughs> little uh, little green stickler. Didn't... Sorry, go on. What was that? 
definitely didn't hear anything else there. <laughs> 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 didn't even didn't even pick up on that. Um, little green stickler came in riding on it and uh, didn't expect me to be a, a dab hand with a crossbow. And uh, yeah, now we've got some fresh boar. So uh, he went running off into the woods and we've got a tasty treat. What's a green see. stickler? Little, uh, little thing. Nasty looking sometimes. They giggle and uh, they try to grab stuff from you. Didn't think uh, old Tilly on here on, on her own would be any match without Thimble, but uh, he saw different. While she's well, talking, I'm going to take out my, my focus and start polishing up with my honey-coated, ink-crusted, looking <laughs> like a, a pampas grass in disguise as a scrumberry. Um, and I'm going to cast prestidigitation over myself. <laughs> I'm going to clean myself up pristine. Then I'm going to look up at, at Basque and go, what? <laughs> do you want me to do it to you? He is distracted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll, uh... So I'll just walk over, walk over to jump and be like, clean. <laughs> horrible. I can't the same on, on Basque. It takes a, a couple of more because Basque is the floofiest of boys. <laughs> is it like, is it like a car wash? Does it like go yes. down and it gets wetter and wetter and it comes back <laughs> and it gets dry? <laughs> yeah, and then it just floofs out like you've been blow dried. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> there you go, nice and clean. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> filled with delicious broth and um, a nice warm cave to chill in. Is there anything you guys want to discuss before you go in having a nice long rest? So, your husband. Are we going to go and take... Are we going to bother going back to him? But didn't you say that, Thimble, you were going to apologise for all the property damage? Yes, well, I've I've had to think about it, and I I think he said it would be a good idea to write a letter, and I think that's what I'll do. If you if you don't mind taking some... Um, some... Deliver it for you, if you want. Yes, that would, that would be lovely. If you can take a little bit of... Um, compensation to him and and this letter hopefully that'll sort out the whole thing and um and then we don't have to worry about it anymore we, well, we could write the letter if you want i mean i'm sure we get it reasonably accurate and get your feelings across <laughs> well <laughs> I, my word, not your word. <laughs> I'll, I'll write the letter this evening and i'll give it to you and then you can decide whether or not uh, to just express the meaning or or, or what you you read the situation i've not seen him in about three weeks more actually thinking about it. it's probably about three months but um yeah you you um you you can judge for yourselves well that seems like a terrible way to end a relationship really i think <laughs> you made a marriage commitment with each other <laughs> and you're going to send him some kind of parchment with a thanks for the memories <laughs> bye <laughs> uh yeah i suppose i mean i wasn't i was just uh honestly i was just going to see if uh, you sent any more people after i was going to get Thimble here to go squish him, but uh, I suppose it's nicer to send a letter or um, oh uh, yeah or yeah, yeah a yeah, word right, yeah I, yeah I, I, I'd rather I'd rather read a letter than get uh, <laughs> pounded into the ground by an ogre yeah I agree yeah you, you go with your your sentiment <laughs> uh, if you want to fluff it up though uh, if, if you think it'll help him that's that's fine I mean he did try and argue was down from two bales of pails of berries to one pail of berries <laughs> for his wife so. I'm totally on their side. Um, So, uh, you you could um, be singing telegrams and go and deliver it yourselves. I love that. Or, yeah, so you guys can have a a nice, easy, long rest. You don't have to worry about, uh, in in the, the shadow of Thimble's Cave, you don't have to worry about anything kind of coming up. And then you guys can give yourselves a long rest, get all of your your spells and your health back and all that business, uh, and wait for dawn when she arrives. We'll crack on with the game. Sorry, that one. <laughs> wasn't wasn't even worth it. I'm do apologize. <laughs> it's always worth it. Um, so 
come morning time. Um, oh, well, the other thing we, we, we actually, well, whilst you guys are sleeping, we'll, we'll leave you guys sleep for a moment. Um, you guys have leveled up. Do you think you guys want to talk about any any elements of your character leveling up, or do you want to leave it as a surprise? Like anything exciting you guys have each gotten? Because it's level three is sometimes a big one, right? Yeah, I could sum mine up uh, with the words. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing the accent while talking to you. Uh, <laughs> I can drunkenly fist people more. That that sounds like my level. <laughs> <laughs> we will look forward to that coming up. <laughs> Is it time to mention that this is a mature podcast, not for all, all ages? I thought it was immature. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Basque, have you got anything you're excited about from your new level up, or do you want to reveal it as a surprise? Or uh, not really a surprise, but if you want to, if you want to picture Basque freshly floofed and uh, curled up in the corner, having a little sleep. And sort of thinking on the on the day's adventures, maybe like playing with his little um the necklace that he got like with the seagull. And as he does, just like a little like soft fairy glow starts to float around him and it turns into a little bit into seagulls, a little bit into spiders, a little bit into bees, and then sort of gently floats away like a little floaty swarm. Because Basque is now Swarm Master. Oh, nice. Swarm Master. Swarm Keeper. Swarm. Master. Swarm. Master's Swarm. fine. Swarmzy. Swarm 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 guy. Filer of avian. And Jump, have you got any secrets to reveal, or are you going to re- reveal it as part of as our I... ongoing adventures? Oh, Jump was inspired. By the stealth exhibited by Rusty Uh as he prowled his way towards members of the Bad Batch. And uh, the spell that she has is Jump trying to imitate that preternatural stealth invisibility. Ooh. A secret tiny jumping romper. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> or I could cast I could cast it on the other two friends and they could be like invisible ninjas. Oh that's nice. That's really cool. Yeah. Especially for some of our noisier party members. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, if I'm invisible, can they still hear the heavy armor of me sort of like bumbling about? <laughs> they can hear things, but uh they can't see things, so it'll it would be it'll be interesting. <laughs> Um, cool. Lots of lovely improvements for our wonderful characters. Uh, I need to change the overlay, I realise, which I've not done. Um, but do not believe the lie as you are indeed level three. Um, but yes, as dawn creeps over the sweet forest trees and into the cave, pours into the cave, waking you all, uh, Tilly has gotten up and has been writing uh, in the morning time. And... Um, Gotten some breakfast together with the thimbles, kind of like made a, a very rough porridge uh, with a couple of stolen a couple of your berries to put in. But it's a, deli- a delicious scrumbery porridge for each of you if you want some. Uh, unless jump, you want to do some cooking? Actually, sorry, I, I, I realise um, that is well. Also a thing. I'm quite, I'm quite good. I, if I got the opportunity, I'd like to get up early and, and help with with breakfast. Well, Thimble's in charge with breakfast this morning, so I mean, it's probably not a bad idea to, <laughs> to take uh, over. I, I'm gonna add add a little bit less of the honey to the porridge, and I'm also going to make a crumbly honey berry nutty with any seeds that I can find granola mix to like crunch it all up and crumble it over the top. Very nice. Delicious. That's what I'm going to do, yeah. And then I'm going to make the the rest of them into flapjacks and give them to my two friends, one mm-hmm. each. Everyone gets mm-hmm. one each. And is it how much do they get back on that? Do you have a chomp of it? Oh, have a chomp of jumps food. A jump chomp. Oh. <laughs> a chomp. Oh, chomp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good question. One d eight hit points when you wow. eat it. One d eight. Yes. Holy moly, that's that's significant. <laughs> that's more than it's, like a healing potion. It is. Well, it's not, but it's still it's close to that. They're delicious. They're really delicious. Yeah, that's a that's a cool Pretty thing. Pretty good. Very restorative. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 
It's like, um, you know when people eat loads of organic food and then they just talk about like, oh, it's really restorative. And like, <laughs> you just feel the difference. Like, I feel that's what Job's cooking's like. Yeah, I feel clean inside. Um, <laughs> very clean. Um, oh, yeah. oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> Clean inside and out. Uh, no, these are plus plus two temporary hit points. These are only like the uh, the bonus treats. They're not the actual ah. big meal. Okay, 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 okay. Cool, cool, cool. So, so um, delicious. Very nice. So yes, everyone has a has a plus two temporary health points. So you can take whatever you want. I guess is it an action to chomp on those for a jump chomp? For a jump chomp. Gosh, let's have a quick look again. Um, da, da, da. Bonus okay. action only. Bonus action, very nice. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Um, so as jumps, making jump chumps, um, and Rusty is being pressed for more information about these magical ropes by Tilly. Um, <laughs> Thimble will uh, very loudly uh, speak to the group. Oh, um, these chaps were looking for something. Um, whilst we were out here, uh, got the honey, got the. Um, the berries. What was the other thing you were after? The hush rooms. Yes, that was it. The little noisy blighters. Um, well, um, you, you, is that something you're still looking for? Reach inside my backpack and pull out the remnants <laughs> of the patch that I, I hacked apart, covered in a little bit of honey. <laughs> I say, well, hmm. Yeah, would that be all right? These don't look good. Oh no, I yeah, I wouldn't like Tilly will come over like kind of no. like fussing. Uh, like, oh no, I wouldn't really, uh, I wouldn't eat those or anything. Um, and they, they, whatever ink was in them is far gone now by the looks of it. Um, you might be able to find a few um, on the way back to the road if you're lucky. Uh, there might be a few patches. Of course, most of them um, grow up on the ridge, uh, just through the other end of the forest. But that's uh, well, that's old Crookneck's territory. Old Crookneck. Yeah, you know he's a Crookneck is a, a nasty old howler, uh, big beaked howler. bear with uh, a tilted temper and a, a sideways head to match. And, uh, and Thimble will join in like uh, he's, he's always giving me a sideways look. <laughs> and uh, Th- Tilly will just kind of like hit him. <laughs> she knows well enough not to bother uh, Thimble here, but uh, we more. Peckable folk. Uh, well, we need to be a bit more uh, careful about doing that kind of thing. But a lot of them go up there. What mushroom pickers? Uh, no, uh, the, the mushrooms themselves. Uh, not, what? Not many they pickers. walk. I, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> oh, I'm really confused. What, what, what was in that granola bell? <laughs> <laughs> don't know. I didn't eat any myself. <laughs> I'm feeling great after this granola bell. <laughs> Um, so yeah, she'll she'll explain that the uh, there are lots of mushrooms up in um, Crooknecks um, territory. Uh, you have to be careful in, but you might if you're lucky, you might find a few on the way back to the road. If not, can, can I make a cheeky suggestion? We don't we know that there are lots of mushrooms outside at the top of the cave because. We accidentally set them off when we were looking for Thimble and Tilly. Can uh, we climb back out of the way that Rusty went? Or is that going to bring us by Crooknecks? The ones that were outside the cave uh, were the remnants that Jump uh, handed you. Because <laughs> Jump, Jump silenced them uh, at the time. Oh. <laughs> In uh, as, as like we get like flashbacks of just like blood splat, black ink <laughs> splattering. It's like, oh, yeah, I remember. I remember. Like maybe one Jumps little furious with a dagger. Like... <laughs> it went with a vegetable knife. <laughs> Funny little screams. Yes. Blood. Please no. <laughs> Neck. Aye, crook neck. A, a bear with a beak. That's that's the one. Feathers. A as beaked well. bear and feathers. 
Does this sound like anything I would have encountered in the caves down below? Uh, not in the caves. Um, not enough legs. Not enough wings. No Beak. chitin. <laughs> no chitin. I don't know what it is. Uh, I think... Uh, or you guys can do nature checks if you want to. See if you, you've heard of this, I guess. Let's I know that you guys... Go. You guys know. <laughs> three. I got three. 15. <laughs> 15. <laughs> For minus one. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Basque. Uh, I got a 13. A 13, cool. So yeah, Jump, uh, well, well Bask, you probably heard about them from your family uh, and Jump. Maybe maybe one of the other more forest-located yeah. uh, kobolds um, communities uh, w w is, was like, this is a legend of it being uh, torn apart by, <laughs> by a bear-like creature. Kobold conglomerates, remember? Yes, sorry, yeah. Conglomerates, yeah. yeah. There was one oh. cartel uh, destroyed by an elder. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's an owlbear, one of them great, great beasts that come down at night and kill whole communities of people. <laughs> Feathers and, and cobalt blood were everywhere, truth be told. Right, right, back up a minute. An owl bear. Are we talking like a bear with an owl on its shoulder? A bear that's hurt itself? Uh... <laughs> St stories I heard. It was were, it were 20 foot tall. With with feathers and and a beak and they, they said that there were beaks all over them. It's like really beaky, more than one beak for sure. At least six. The uh, and Tilly will be nodding along like enthusiastically, and Thimble will look a little bit confused, but not say anything. Real beaky blinder it was. <laughs> uh, uh, is it an, an intelligent? Uh, Amalgamation of things. <laughs> Compared to a kobold, probably. Well, can we talk to <laughs> it? Can we uh, can we reason with it? Do we have to fight it? Dunno. It were all beaks and blood and claws and rending and screams at night. Oh, it sounds lovely. Um, I, I just stubbed my toe. Uh, I might have to sit this one out. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I can heal it if you want. I got uh, healing no, no, no. powers it's, it's, from. It's a monk thing that we have to <laughs> accept our injuries and meditate through them. Um, that's quite common for monks <laughs> to stub their toes as well. Uh... I've bruised my key. <laughs> <laughs> I've pulled a chakra. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can um... always run away. I can run and it can chase me again, like we do with normal non beaky bear. The N M M B B. It is. I, I will say, like, yeah, you, you guys have, have a chance of finding some on the way back. Um, it's up. It's entirely up to you guys. Shall we just take a chance? Whether you want to or not. <laughs> well, personally, I don't believe that an owl could. Mate with a bear, so yeah, let's go and look. <laughs> my my towel my, my towel has been used to make my toe better. Um, so, Do you yeah. know, talking about mating, I've been wondering how human mates with ogre. Uh, <laughs> from what I saw, <laughs> <laughs> it involves uh, tables, ropes, and uh, yeah, no, that's all I've got. A lot of patience. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it's, it's probably something you're best asking uh yeah, yeah I, I, do you have an auntie or, or or something about that maybe about your toe no, no yeah uh, yeah well, I, I could ask her about my toe yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a good idea yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> um so hush rooms they were optional weren't they and I mean, optional means we don't have to do it. What were they even going to be used for? I mean, they don't look very edible to me, lick, lick one of them. Uh, back, back in town, they weren't really eaten. Uh, you get the ink from them and it's it goes for a bit of money. Uh, people use it for, for dyeing, they use it for, um, for pens and whatnot, or it can just be sold abroad. Um, 
we have more berries, um, maybe we can trade them for ink in town? Or trade you for some ink? Trade me? Letter? You gonna take me back to this? I I'm staying here with <laughs> them. <laughs> and uh, Basque looks absolutely horrified at the idea of getting further involved with this woman's crazy life. <laughs> He's like, he's like, he's like, no, just. <laughs> um, oh, uh, well, I mean, um, well, I don't have anything to trade with you, but if you've got more jam than you need, the jam is one of the most sellable things in the whole of Scrumby. Uh, your idea to get uh, Old Thimble here to get some more, I think that's a, that's a good plan. We'll be, we'll be working on that. But if you've got extra than you need, yeah, you'll make money off that if you want, if that's what you're looking to do. Have you got any shrooms that we could trade for jam? Well, trade for raw berries. No, I don't really. Oh, I need to go get some more actually, because uh, we well we plant them as little warning systems to make sure nothing sneaks up on us while we're sleeping. And uh, I saw, I saw but, that idea. Yeah, we, we we haven't got any left now. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> they they were very very good. Um. All right, that that little. Uh, that boar didn't didn't need to set off any any uh, little hush rooms for me to get him. Right. Well, I I don't know. I, I'm I'm torn to be honest because I, I, owl a bear <laughs> out there, uh, but money. Um, so I mean, we could toss a coin. Uh, we, we could have a team huddle, which seems a bit pointless because we're talking there anyway. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to exclude us, but we we can go back there if you want to. <laughs> oh, you can be part of team. Like shuffle in. I'd shuffle thimble, in. Thimble will shuffle yeah. in and like knock a table over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind going hunting, Hunt Ridge for for hush rooms. Like Albert, I mean, the stories say it's right horrible, right big, right beaky. But I mean, it can't be as bad as them massive wasps, surely. Surely. And them spiders. Uh, uh, Basque, uh, what do you what do you think? I mean, you you seem to take the most punishment at times. Um. <laughs> hey, I'm used to it. Um. So. Basque probably could go take on an owlbear, but also he he was kind of like just sitting in town trying to avoid being a bounty hunter <laughs> and have, have a nice little life. And he was going to come and get some jam and now we're talking about getting an owlbear. <laughs> he probably just is continuing to feel like his day is just getting a bit away from him. <laughs> but he is very conscious that Jump is very small. Um, and Rusty tends to set things on fire, so he would he would follow you guys just to kind of minimise. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say minimise the damage. I don't think that's true. Absorb some of the damage. Record the damage. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm going to toss a coin. I think. Yeah. Shall we? Uh, you can have one of these, uh, and she'll um, Tilly will bring forth uh, a small chest uh, filled with gold and topped with a few gems. Uh, this is for um, this is for uh, my husband, Erin. There we go. Um, uh, you, you, I mean, you can have one of them, though. I'm sure you won't mind. Uh, I you, How you much can... is in there? There's got to be at least six. Oh, there's oh, there's a fair bit in there, I think. How much was it, Thimble? Uh, I, I just poured some into the chest. Uh, what? Well, well, you've got a pile bigger than this that you decanted <laughs> into this chest. <laughs> oh, the number of number of adventurers this one's smushed to bits, and like the stuff they were carrying, you wouldn't believe. But uh, I, well, well, I, 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 I'm suddenly feeling that I might give up the adventuring style and uh, maybe. Uh, going to polyamory. Uh, <laughs> uh, Don't you be making moves I'm... on my thimble. <laughs> 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 
Kira grabs his big arm. <laughs> <laughs> well. Um, but yeah, you, you guys looking at it, you can see there's probably a few hundred gold in there, and the gem, as, as well as the gems. Go on then. Do you want to toss the coin? Uh, yeah, go on. Uh, who's going to call it? Don't know. Oh, sure. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Let's rock, paper, scissors to decide who's <laughs> going to call it. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind if one of you two want to call it. <laughs> and uh, Tilly and Thimble will be looking at you. I've never seen a more indecisive bunch. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing we all agree on is breakfast. <laughs> That's it. The most important meal of day. It's downhill from then. Crookneck. <laughs> Has a crooked head, so crookhead could be heads. So do we want it to be heads? You can't define someone, you know. I, I, I don't call you ogre appendage, do I? You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes, but. Uh... <laughs> Shall we call it heads then? Heads, we do go to see Crookneck. Heads, we Alba. Tails. Uh, if we just play Tiddlywinks and decide which coin to toss, uh, I think <laughs> we're... I've got a dragon <laughs> chest set back here. If you <laughs> uh, do, do any of you have you a coin actually... to flip? Or... <laughs> oh, I've got fourteen gold pieces. <laughs> um, D four. Yeah. Low and well, we just put high tails are low. Oh yeah, odds and evens, whatever, whatever you want to do. Why don't we just roll a one d two? Oh yeah, there is a one d two. There you go. It is heads. Look, it's heads. There you go. <laughs> and Basco just kind of go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, best of three. Uh. Best of three. <laughs> <laughs> Doing it. <laughs> this oh. is the decider. <laughs> Oh, no, oh. <laughs> we've had a, we've had a heads and two tails for the best out of three. <laughs> well, now I'm really confused. You're going, you're going home to... then. Oh, I don't know exactly sure. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't mean to uh, to press you, but I've got things. To, well, we've got things to do. Um... <laughs> Oh, well, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's been a whole day, isn't it? Yeah. Do you remember? Do you remember Travis's warehouse was full of ink as well as honey and jam? If we don't yeah, get I, any, I, 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 I think we should uh, go and visit Erin and and then head back to town. Um, All yeah. right. Cool. I, I can feel the sea calling me. And it goes. <gasps> I feel like Erin is probably more monstrous than an Alba, so I think that's, that's Trace, fair. Take on the, the true horror. You know, uh, and then the we can come horror. up with a song on the way uh, to explain his disastrous relationship. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Did you write your letter? For oh, him? yes, here you go. Uh, and she'll pass you. Um, a handwritten envelope with a folded piece of paper inside and a single ring inside it as well. Ooh, the ring oh. is harsh. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I've got plenty of jewellery. I don't need it now. And, um, yeah, are, are right. you all set? I think we are. I mean, backpack's a bit sticky, like, but, you know, outside of it is dried, so it's quite watertight now. Oh, I've uh, I've put some some belt straps on the barrel. If anyone wants to carry that as a backpack, it's a bit easier. I'll do that. Yeah. Does anyone want to carry my backpack? Uh, no. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put that on the front. <laughs> the barrel on the back. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Who wants to hold this? I'm a bit sticky again. <laughs> the, the, the letter. <laughs> Stuck to Jump's hand. <laughs> yes, waving it. 
Let's go get like a claw and just like very carefully <laughs> take it from uh, there. Thank you. I'm ready. <laughs> cool. Start clapping, it sticks together. Uh, so, as you guys head off on your trip back to the road, back to the farm, and then back to town, uh, as you're going through the woods, you can keep an eye out for any hushrooms you might be able to find hushrooms. on the way. Uh, you can do uh, your choice. You can do perception to try and spot them. You can do survival to try and forage them. And you can do um, maybe nature to try and oh, find a yeah. spot where they'd be. So, it's whatever you guys want to roll with. Can I do you can accidentally press the initiative button and try and surprise them. Like, <laughs> oh, it was a natural 20 as well. <laughs> that's disgusting. Oh. I feel like that sums up Basque's day, to be, to be fun. <laughs> Basque in a nutshell. Uh. <laughs> uh, what is my... I feel like I've got some abilities that should help with this. Not abilities, special skills. Got a, a six from jump. Yeah, survival. I really can't see Everyone anything. I mean, it, yeah, it's fair enough with the, the beast of burden, <laughs> tiny little kobolds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rusty, are you keeping an eye out for for shrooms in any way? Twenty-two. Nice. Very, very good. Um, Basque, you... Oh, we're 20 from Basque. Excellent stuff. So, uh, both uh, Basque and Rusty, can you please roll 1d8s for me each? Uh, one d8. Five. Nice. Well. Uh, as you are walking along, you do see just off the side of the kind of like um, not really a trail. These woods aren't really walked enough for it to be a trail. But on the route that you kind of can get a, a good sense of is back to the road. You do see just off on the hill nestled next to a small tree uh, is a bundle of these white little hushrooms. Uh, kind of sitting there merrily waiting. Do you see that? It's quite handy. Are we are we are we going full massacre this time, or are we going to maybe you know? How are you approaching the hush? Be careful! They're canny little things. <laughs> Would we know having? Because last time we just sort of set them off, and they just sort of started screaming. Having approached them before and being more familiar with them. Is there any way that I don't know? I, I suppose I'm thinking of some sort of like pie pikey situation or something that we can do to be like shush little mushrooms, and then they all just kind of go asleep, and we can gently harvest them it's without exactly, them screaming in our faces. It's however you want to approach them. Um, you, you don't. You, all you've learned is what you've learned, which is when you you were you were in face of them and they screamed. <laughs> can I use my animal handling? to try and handle them in such a way that they don't feel like screaming. I think they are, because they're plants, it'd probably be a nature check, but are you going up to just start grabbing them, or? I don't Kind of cautiously, I'm going to sort of like, a little way away from them, be like, hmm. <laughs> like, maybe if there's like one off by, by, its, by itself, I might like gently, As gently you, poke it uh, or like... They're all in a little pump, a little like bundle. Uh, and as you get closer, you see like the the eye dots kind of like begin to like appear on, and the little mouths. You're like, ah. and as you back away, they kind of like go back down again. <laughs> the little eyes fade away to dots. You get closer, and they go. Ah. <laughs> uh, no screams so far. As long as you're backing down when they're, when they're doing that, at least. I, I am backing down. I'm wondering, do we think, like, we've got a net. Do we think that we can, like, if we throw a net over them from far away and sort of, like, scrape, we can grab them. And sort of yoink them from the ground before they have time to scream. <laughs> Is that the plan? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
some quality in net puns in chat. Um, yeah, is that how you is that you're gonna do? You're gonna you're gonna try and net these. Um, you you I don't know how fine your net is. Although I think it's a fishing net, right? So that'd be quite fine, I guess. Yeah. Unless anyone has any alternative ideas. Um, well, I was thinking we could just dig up the whole patch around them and put them in some kind of box and then charge twice the price because they're still fresh. That is a much better solution. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I just made that up. <laughs> what if it will they start screaming on the way back though? Just find out, I suppose. Do they scream at everyone, or just people that massacre the families? <laughs> More flashbacks. Well, they <laughs> <laughs> um, well, they screamed at us before we did any massacring. So. <laughs> it's true. Why don't we just go in and dig them up? I'm not, I'm not scared of food screaming at me. <laughs> Not even food. Screaming at him. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got a bedroll anymore, but I've got a backpack that we can put some stuff in. Maybe. I think that would work as a as a very makeshift plant plant thing. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not a planter. Yeah, yeah. It's not a terrarium. <laughs> it's, it's far too advanced. Um, so yeah, is that the plan? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have I, have I got anything sharp? Oh, I don't know why I'm asking you that. I should know. <laughs> I, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming in the Tinker's tools there's there's something. I'm going to make a nice... I'm going to take the backpack and I'm going to cut some holes in it and then I'm going to, so I can like feed them through. And then it's like a like a nice... Uh, I reckon backpack. there's like a little pair of scissors oh. in the Tinker's tools. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like um, a little potting kit. Like, those little things. Yeah. Like a little, 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 little trowel. Just... Uh, who's who's going to be troweling them up then? Oh well, I mean, I've donated the backpack, and it was my idea. So uh, <laughs> someone else, show me too. I don't mind. What, what do you think the best way to approach screaming mushrooms is? Um, Head on. Scream, scream back at them, or <laughs> can do. Show me who's boss, maybe. Yeah. Just, I don't mind. So if they scream at us, we scream back at them. Yeah. Maybe it'll shut them up. <laughs> cool. Okay. So you approach the little bundle of hush rooms, uh, and as you, the three of you, get nearer, you see their little eyes swell up again, and uh, their little mouths open up, and they, ah, ah, ah. Uh, and as you get to the, the, just like a little bit closer, close as you were with the uh, with the other at uh, the last time. Uh, you hear them re screech out ah! as just as they get um, as you get right near them, right near them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Look at, <laughs> look at uh, Russ is going to do the same. He's going to be like pulling his like eyelids, but I'm like, oh, <laughs> 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 right, trying to mimic them. <laughs> Uh, are you are you all screaming in, in time with this? Look at their needle-like teeth. Ew. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I'm actually going to uh, put my head to the sky and let out a proper dra draconic cry, I think. Oh, you have a thing, right? I do yeah. actually have a thing, yeah. Very nice. Um, yeah, when I'm in ten feet of them. You do yeah. your wonderful draconic cry, and I think it's going to yeah. give Rusty and Basque uh, advantage, advantage on your performance checks. I, I, I'd like to point out I understand Draconic, so I'd, I'd like to know what Oh you no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, do I understand Draconic? It's such an embarrassing moment for uh, for Job. For Job! <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's literally screaming at them. Blinky, well, shut up, you stupid little mushrooms! <laughs> <laughs> I was going to swear, but I didn't. Because I'm a good girl. I'm a good girl, I am. Really, I am. <laughs> um, yeah, Rusty and Basque, you guys want to do performance checks with advantage, um, aided by Jump's bellow. Uh, 15's the highest. Very nice. 
Oh no! <laughs> not, not, not a, not a cryer. But it's more of a hiss that kind of like <laughs> tails up. So <laughs> we just fluff up, so he looks really big and angry. Oh. <laughs> They uh, they puff themselves up and scream at you, uh, and then in in unison you draconically cry and scream back, uh, and they all go like kind of like look back shocked, <laughs> ah, scream back at you again. <laughs> the last expression they'll be making, I'm going in. <gasps> and uh, yeah, as you they, they, like as the the cry is a lot more like like they look instead of like a unison kind of like. Ah, cry it towards you. They seem more like panicked now as they realise you're coming in. There's <laughs> uh, a vegetable knife approaching them. And um, yeah, so w- what do you do with the drop if you could go in there? I am. I'm gonna uh, be slicing them off real deep, like you know, you know when you see mushroom hunters and they they lob their knife deep into the roots and cut the mushroom just below the ground. That's what I'm going in and doing. I, I, I uh, honestly have never seen mushroom hunters, but I will believe it. Have you not? <laughs> no. They, I've seen storage hunters, <laughs> but I've not seen mushroom <laughs> hunters. I've seen one episode of that. It made me insanely angry. Um, <laughs> and I had to calm down a bit afterwards. I mean, that's a reasonable, that's the same reaction. Mm. Um, you, as you dig out the um, the hush room, it, it kind of looks around and, you, and stops screaming. And as you pull it out on this long stalk, you see two. What could be mistaken is tiny little legs dangling underneath they kick in. Through, through the soil. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, these little little buggers, are we going to like, plant them in that backpack you've adapted? I'm going to plant them like a spree, spree, it's a draconic word, out the sides. Oh yeah, that's the plan. You know, I mean, if you're going to do something, you might as well make it look pretty, really. Wouldn't you? <laughs> you know, you can keep beheading them, and they should grow back. So you could like constantly behead these little. I, uh, I, I'm really glad I didn't take any kind of uh, a plant-based uh, professions uh, because you didn't have a real thing against uh, our, our green-leaved ground friends. <laughs> Cook. I like cooking everything. <laughs> and yeah, maybe when Jump mentions the, um, like you can cut the heads off indefinitely. Like it, the yes. little one, the little one in your hand, like screams, <laughs> tries to kick even harder as it gets put into Rusty's bag. Um, and I make a joke to see when Jump says cooking everything, but that includes human. <laughs> <laughs> you can do an insight check to find out. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. Does um, what does Jump react to that? <laughs> oh, Jump! Oh my gosh, Jump's Jump. got a really good deception actually. Uh, does Rusty just turn into a bit of ham <laughs> with eyes. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good question. You've only ever seen Jump cook vegetables so far, really. On oh, an egg. Yeah. Um, no, I don't cook humans. I don't really. I don't see the point of it when there's so many other good things. In the world, you know. Fair never enough, say yeah. never. I probably though. should have asked that before we spent a few nights in a random <laughs> cave in the middle of nowhere. But you know. I don't know if that's going to be more insulting or less insulting. Right? <laughs> no, it's okay. I don't eat humans, but it's mostly because they're, they're not very interesting to eat. <laughs> is, that, is that a good news? Yeah. Or is that bad news? <laughs> Off the back of this conversation, Basque's sort of like considering like the frittata and the flapjack in a whole new light. <laughs> Like, it's no longer, like, feeding your friends. It's fattening us up for the eventual slaughter. Mm. No, no, no. They've had occasion to cook human. There weren't any in in my, uh, where I come from. Well, can we just agree that if you get the urges, we can sit down, we can have a, a, have a cuddle, just talk about it, you know, before you just get the urges, you know. No, there'll be no urges to cook humans from me. I think you're safe. <laughs> um, so yes, you... this one though. <laughs> <laughs> As each one of them is plucked, the, the screaming stops, and eventually it gets quieter uh, and quieter until there are indeed no more 
um, of these little <sighs> screaming guys left as they all appear one by one in Rusty's backpack. And you've secured yourselves nine, was it nine? Um, hush rooms. With little inky fingers from jumpers, you've been picking them up. And um, you do hear one more scream uh, from the area uh, and feel each of you uh, a weight suddenly over your heads as you find yourself suddenly trapped in a net and it's fallen down. Oh, irony. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, as a net comes thundering down from the tree above, uh, you hear laughter uh, coming from nearby. A net's revenge. (laughs) 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 As we change things. Daisy. I forgot the mushrooms are there, so I've moved them far away from everything else I was meant to be using today. There we go. As emerging from the woods nearby, you see lots of little critters who uh, who uh, laugh. (laughs) We got him! We got him! Uh, As they kind of approach the perimeter of the net that's kind of like fallen on you guys. Uh, Where's where's Stinker? He's at the back as usual. Hey, no, I'm supervising. Okay, you you would you lot wouldn't get it. Anyway. Uh, and these little creatures surround the net that is over you, and, and kind of like this creature puffs himself up and says, uh, "Creatures in the net, uh, please bring forth all of your treasures that you have, and then present yourselves so that we might very easily do you in." Oh well, as you are so oh. nice, of, of, of course. Uh, just come here a little bit, and I'll, I'll, I'll hand it over. See, I told you this would be easy. Oh, come on. We we saw the treasure that you got from the troll, and we would like that, and then we will probably do, do away with you. So, um, uh, which well, one... that's fair enough. You know, you know, I, I appreciate a good contract. You know, we both understand where we're coming from. So, uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Neb, go get him. Uh, and Neb will come over and we'll put his hands out for the chest uh, next to the net right by you. Uh, what did you say your name was? N- Neb. I, I'm I'm Neb. How do you spell that? N N E N N Neb. Any any Neb. N N Neb. N E Neb. So yeah, I'm just making a mental note of that. Um, <laughs> Why does he want my name? Why do you want my name? Well, I made it a rule uh, to find out everyone's names. It's you know, I think wrong with kindness is a you know. I mean, you've 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 been upfront and honest with us. Uh, the least I can do is uh, uh, learn your names. Are you trying them mind games that I've heard about? Is he doing? No, he's not trying mind games. Just get the treasure chest off him. Oh, I seem to have a problem though, there, Nip. Uh, how do I pass this very large, oozing with gold and riches chest through a net? Well, yeah, here you go, and it'll start to lift up the. Well, I'll tell you what, you come on, yeah, yeah, you come under, and, and then we can uh, we can organise the trade. <laughs> you want to do a persuasion check to try and get to come into the net with you? <laughs> oh, natural <that was> twenty. <laughs> <laughs> And the, the the big one. Uh, anyone looking, else? <laughs> the big one looking over says, yeah, get, "Get in there! Get the get the get the chest already!" And uh, Neb will will crawl in underneath you. And you've got this little uh, goblin creature next to you now. Um, uh, uh, where, where is it? <laughs> uh, are you ready? It's it's a little bit heavy. Yeah, let's pass it over. Yeah, right. Well, it's uh, heavy, guys. It's gonna be good. Neb, you don't think uh, you don't think your fellows over there are gonna gonna cut you out of this, do you? <laughs> well, yeah. The boss gets it all. Wait, what? So you come under the net, you do all the hard work. I mean, obviously, you can spend time with us, but uh, and you you don't get any of it. Well, well, I, I get the bit that's left over, maybe if I'm, if I'm lucky. But then, but then when. Uh... When Stinker gets killed, I, I, I get to be boss, and then and then I get ill. 
The system uh, works. Uh, uh, which one's Stinker? Sorry, the, the big one at the back. What's that? Why are you telling me my name? Get the chest already. Uh, keep out of this, you. We're having a discussion. <laughs> uh, whilst whilst Rusty is formidably maintaining the attention of this group of creatures, <laughs> what is uh, Jump and Bask up to? Or are you, are you waiting to, for Rusty's play? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether I'm going to squish someone with this chest I've got. Because <laughs> it is quite heavy. I'll wait for Rusty. Cool. <laughs> Are they gathered in, say, a small, entanglable space? Uh, probably the other ones will be, yeah. I would say so. so <laughs> apart, from, gonna... apart from Nep, who's in the net with you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what I'm probably going to do is wait for Rusty's... Whatever whatever this is, Bask here for it. So I'm going to wait and see how this plays out. <laughs> But it's going to prepare to entangle the rest of the group, should, you know, should they not fall for, for Rusty's charms. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh. um, so yeah, Rusty, um, Neb will be demanding the uh, the chest from you. Of course, of course. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, you've been very, 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 uh, very pleasant, really, you know. Uh, oh, we're, we're very uh, good at this. It was not our first time. Oh, hey, Neb. Neb. Uh, my friend Jump over here. He, uh, uh, she's got the chest. If uh, she were, uh, she'll just drop are you, it. You, go- are you goblin? Oh, who me? No. Hey, do you want to be leader? Uh, well, well, it's not my turn yet. But if Big and over there's dead, you can be leader. Wait, r- r- wait. Run that by we'll me again. We'll back you up. We'll back you up. Think of it, no, 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 Neb. Um, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. How many, uh, how many historical figures in your vast history of your species have been called Stinker? You know, that, that's a, a silly name. How about Neb, Neb, Nebulous? They will call you uh, Finder of Adventure Gold and and Gem. Did we got Gem as well? Did I tell you we got Gem? Yeah, we're we're gonna take the wheelbarrow, well, the, the barrows and and the and the backpacks and stuff as well. Um, you're being very helpful all... for people who are gonna get get squished soon. It would all be yours when you're leader, though. Oh. Can you uh, uh, jump? Can you can you picture Nebulous here or on on the throne of of God, Ma- God, God made God. of made of gems, a throne made of gems and coins, and with oh. other goblin. Folk to do his bidding. Oh, I can imagine it. Painting picture right now He's, in my mind. His uh, his eyes are like glazing over with the idea of this. <laughs> this imagine like, it. Non-existent uh, throw. Imagine <laughs> it. The smell of gold in every breath you take. See, I, I sense in you, Neb, uh, some innate magical power. I bet. Look, look, just go with me. Uh, if you look at your fellows over there, Stinker and yeah the others um i bet that one's rob bet, uh, rob yeah oh, oh yeah i can see rob he's got a big uh a big r on his chest yeah uh, i bet you could um i bet you could entangle them with just a word i reckon what do you reckon and then and then you could do whatever you want you can kill them you can make them follow you you can uh well, it, uh, takes, yeah. it usually takes three of us to get the net up i don't think they're what all gonna that? wait around I tell you what, look, look, look me and you, we, you know, we've, we've got a, a rapport going on. Look, just just look at them, and just hold out your hand, no, 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 neb, and say, entangle. What? You've got to do it with the accent as well. Uh, Don't think about it. There's no time to think about it. Look, you're trapped under a net with some fluffy people and a lizard thing, and obviously me. But you know, that's a pleasure uh <laughs> just do it don't time it. just do it just don't think about it and you see he looks back to stinker uh and stinker like has a very angry face and it's like, what the bloody hell are you doing and neb's attitude is like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, 
<laughs> as as Rust, as a uh, Basque is cast in entanglement, can I also do a, a brief light light flash from his outstretched hand? Oh, nice! <laughs> yeah. Basque doing this. <laughs> Basque doing the same motion as <laughs> this non-magical goblin. <laughs> Uh, and they will have to quickly roll a bunch of checks. Uh, what are we? What are we dodging to get rid of your entangle, uh, Basque? Uh, strength saving throw, please. Strength saving throw. Yeah, that's that's definitely their strong point. <laughs> Gets a spell safety save twelve. Cool. Let's get that going really quick. Uh... Oh, it is annoying when it does that. When you tell it to roll multiple rolls, it doesn't roll multiple rolls, it, it, it adds them all up for you. <laughs> Which is a shame. <laughs> uh, oh no, it's actually showing me all of them, oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, so uh, all of them, except for Stinker, uh, are wrapped up in this entanglement uh, So what does that mean? What does that look like, more importantly? So, kind of the, the ground underneath them where they're kind of I'm guessing gathered in a, in a little troop sort of starts to shift and bubble and then some like kind of like ivy is going to come out and uh, yeah kind of grow up their, up their feet and around their legs and then kind of like oh, just grab them <laughs> but they won't be able to get out He's getting uh, Ivy officer a pain, <laughs> and yeah, and they all they all scream uh, in in fear as uh, the ground suddenly erupts in front of them. Cast by Neb, <laughs> um, are they are they all entangled now? Is it like restrained or something? Is that what it is? They are restrained by the plants and can use their action to make a strength check against myself. Save DC on a success, they free themselves. Oh, so you, an action isn't even to get out; an action is to try and get out. Oof, that is yep. rough for our little friends. And uh, in the meantime, the area around them, if they're in a 20-foot range, yeah. is difficult to range. So even if they do get out, it is difficult for the ones who are free to <laughs> To go anywhere. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so with that, you all want to roll for initiative. Yarp. But I'm going to get another natural fun too. Uh, well, you get, get advantage no. on your oh, no. Not bad. Not bad. 19. <laughs> Okay. Thirteen. Uh, Thirteen. Where is the initiative tracker? There's a new thing. It's got an. It's got a new layout, and I can't work out where the initiative tracker is. This one. Yeah, there it is. That be it. Cool. So we've got. Uh, Bass. Ooh, I have a question for you. Yes. Jay. Yes. 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 yes GM. So we were talking about marking target. Yes. This is an area spell, but we were aiming for stinker. If it's an area spell, it doesn't count as a mark, I don't think. Okay. I was just trying to <laughs> try my luck. It's okay. Uh, we've got a Rusty on a 13. Uh, we've got Jump on a 14. Uh, and we have the very surprised goblins on a one. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> well, no, it would be it would be a three, uh, but it was in that one on the dice. Uh, so up first is Basque. Uh, as you are stuck under this net, you have managed to entangle and catch off the guard all of the goblins. Uh, you do have Neb probably between Jump and Rusty. Uh, the rest of them are out there in the outside of the net. What are you up to? Uh, so, I have a. So, I have a short sword. So, I can either try and cut our way out of the net, mm -hmm. or I can, can use my new spell, Hail of Thorns, to shoot all of the goblins with loads and loads of arrows, which feels a bit like overkill. I'm not going to lie. It feels a bit like an overreaction. <laughs> What are you gonna do? Uh, I do. I do love Hail of Thorns. I'm gonna go for that. Cool. I'm gonna try and get rid of Stinker. 
it would be disadvantage on the attack roll because you're currently prone uh, in the net. But you... Oh, we're lying down in the net. Yeah, yeah, uh... yeah. Um, oh, okay, let me check. The nets, um, the nets make you restrained? I can't quite remember. Mm. Anyone remember? But the nets make you restrained. This is the kind of thing you're supposed to look up before you do it, right? <laughs> mm. uh, there we go. In my head, we were all just stood in a row with the net over us, and we were like, come <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can cut yourself free. Um, and yeah, you, I think you have actions, but you have disadvantage to do attacks and stuff like that, so that'd be fine. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's how, you, that's how you attack with it. So yeah, so you can either attack a... Um, try and break free, or you can um, make an attack. I will try and cut us out of the thing with my short sword. I think that's probably the best way to go. Cool. Slash your short sword. Boop, boop, boop. I don't think I've used this yet. Exciting times. Oh, I have claws as well, so I can use those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you do enough. But I'm going to use my probably. sword because I'm not, I'm not an animal. So. <laughs> yes. What do we get? Uh, so to hit, we got 20 plus 5. For... <laughs> yeah, that'll hit. <laughs> it looks like 27, but I don't think that can be right. And then my piercing damage is 9 plus 3. So. And with that, the net is slain in half. Uh, and your allies and Neb uh, are freed. Um. Are you are you gonna stand up, Basque, or are you gonna stay where you're at? No, I'm gonna stand up. Uh, rising out of the <laughs> nets above you. Uh Rusty, it is your go. Uh, no, sorry, jump actually, I, I, I do apologize. Jump, it's your go. Oh. Uh, you have your v very various items with you uh are being carried, as well as uh between you and Rusty, I think, is Neb, if you were both talking to him. That's and true. The, and the net has been freed. What are you gonna do? I am going to stand up, put my, yeah, I think I've got two backpacks on, haven't I? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm set the balance. Yeah, I thought, oh dear. In for a penny, in for a penny. Can I see the big chap at the back? Yes. I am going to do something I've not done before, and why the heck not? I'm going to Guiding Bolt him. Ooh, very nice. Absolutely. Let's see if I can hit him. 12 to hit. Uh, 12 um, does not hit. He manages to duck oh. out of the way of your Guiding Bolt. Um, it kind of looks, ducks right down and pops back up looking terrified and surprised at this very quick change of situation where... <laughs> The very easily trapped and and very you know compliant prey so far is suddenly uh, <laughs> is suddenly jumping out of nets and firing at them. Uh, Absolutely. Is that you done jump? I think so. Excellent stuff. Uh, Rusty, it's your go. Uh, I'm going to help Neb to his feet. <laughs> He's like hop up onto one <laughs> to his feet. <laughs> My liege, now is your chance. <laughs> <laughs> There's only, there's only Stanker, whatever his name was, left. Stanker. Uh, <laughs> Stanker. Yeah, you can do it. I know you can do it. I'll, I'll back you up. I'll, I'll, I'll be right behind you. What, you, you think I, sh I should go in? I should do it. Nebulous, you are... Did you see that glowing stuff out your hand? You know, this is only six seconds we've got to squeeze this into. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you're, you're right. You know, I, I can. I've got more power than I realised. Um, are you doing anything on your turn? Or are you gonna? Are you gonna boost him up? <laughs> uh, can I hold an attack action? Yeah, yeah. Not specify on who. <laughs> I think you've got to make a specification. Uh, it's up to you who who you do. What? Yeah. Or it could be something like the nearest enemy, or something like that. It's whatever. Uh, I'm gonna have my shoulders. My, my shoulders. No, my hands on 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 Neb's shoulders. Just. Giving him a motivational, 
Akrup <laughs> slash Falcon Pinch. Ending on the situation. <laughs> <laughs> um, and with that, uh, it is the Goblin's slow reaction turn go. Three of them are going to try and struggle free of this uh, this webbing. So it's a uh, DC 12, was it, to beat? Not webbing, sorry. I should say. Uh, let me... Maybe. Let me check. Uh, yes, it was to beat beat a da, 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 12. Oh, so uh, one of them got a natural 20 uh, and kind of break their way free, and the other one at the back breaks away, but the one in the middle is still solidly wedged there and like trying to get through. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Stinker is like looking at his, his team being tied in this web stuff. Uh, and turns to face the, the new threat uh, and doesn't quite expect to see Neb charging at him with a dagger. Uh, and he comes charging in. He's going to try and take a strike at his uh, his erstwhile boss. Uh, it is a... Not a great attack. <laughs> these, are the, these are the toughest guys in the world. Uh... <laughs> he just charges and uh, he closes his eyes, gets his dagger, stabs it forward. Um, as, he, as he closes his eyes, can I use my action to actually make his attack better? <laughs> uh, you, you can use your action to to help him if you want to. Yeah, definitely. Because yeah, he, uh, like, you, you can oh. see quite clearly he's going to be a good foot away <laughs> when he finishes <laughs> his impale. <laughs> I'll, I'll just shove him then. <laughs> cool. He's going to get advantage on the roll. Oh, <laughs> it's a natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> as the as he stabs uh, into his uh, his well towards his boss, the very last second, the boss kind of sees Neb at the corner of his eyes. What? And grabs Rob and holds him immediately in front of him <laughs> as Neb skewers wow. Rob. <laughs> oh. ah, Typical boss. Sorry, sorry, Rob. Uh, and <laughs> the sword out. <laughs> uh, Stinker, however, is uh, is furious at this, and he's going to push Rob onto Neb to try and crush him with a with a with a strength check to see if he can shove him out of the way. Uh, it's using a goblin as a weapon. It's essentially, yeah. Uh, you got a nineteen oh. uh, versus Neb's repeated oh strength check. These guys aren't good at strength, by the way. <laughs> Uh, only a thirteen from uh, from Neb. So Neb, having stabbed Rob and pulled the sword out and go, ah, I'm sorry, uh, just has um, Rob pushed over him and just, he just falls to the ground underneath Rob. Uh, both of look looking confused uh, and a very panicked looking um, stinker kind of looks around like um, maybe maybe not uh and tries to help his two colleagues out of the vines um the two remaining standing ones <laughs> uh we're back round top of the round for basque so i am going to try and shoot sinker oof i'm going to use my long bow nice what do we get? I'm not going to do Hail of Thorns. I feel like it's, it's too much. <laughs> yeah, it would be too much. <laughs> Overkill. What do we get for the longbow? Uh, so we got a natural 20 plus a 2. <laughs> what? A 6. So the 20. <laughs> oh, it's, six it's, for... it's a dirty 20. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so... You have, as a ranger, you have a couple of abilities. One of them is your new swarm. The other one is a marked target. So are you marking Stinker as your target? It's a choice. Yeah. Cool. No, uh, I will definitely mark him. Uh, and what does it look like as you fire your bow and the swarm go with it? What does it look like and what kind of swarm have we got? I think in this instant it will be... Because we've seen lots of bees around in the forest. Nice. It's going to be a little, little, little swarm of bees just buzzing around, looking a bit threatening. Did they like follow the arrow or? More like 
uh, Vasco will shoot and then he'll kind of go, because <sighs> he's done it. And as he breathes out, there'll be a, and on the breath will be a load of bees. <laughs> bee breath. <laughs> bee breath. And it'd be like finding Nemo where all the fish go into an arrow, but it's all the bees go into an arrow. <laughs> it's yeah. an actual shape. <laughs> Uh, and like caught by the arrow, uh, Stinky's like, "Oh my goodness!" And then all of the bees come and like hit him on the other side, uh, and uh, he he he's staggered, and you can tell now he's he's broken and looking to to bolt. Um, jump! It's your go. Oh, blimey! Is it quite obvious that they're looking to run away? Uh, yeah, like they'll they'll be crawling away uh, and, and and trying their best to kind of uh, get away. And, um... I am going to scare the bejesus out of them then by summoning a stalk spider, or at least Ooh. the illusion of one. Nice. Um, Would it be a little yeah. tiny one or is it a big one? Heck, it's five foot, oh. five foot cube. It's a cuboidal <laughs> sp- stalk spider. <laughs> Uh, oh. And it's it's no smell or sound. It's literally just the the visuals. Uh, um, and yeah, you'll you'll hear one of them shout that hook. It's 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 got one of them berry berry spider things. Uh, they're working with the spiders. And uh, as they kind of like crawl away a little bit, uh, uh, and yeah, you can tell that they they are definitely making their way to to flee now. Uh, Rusty, uh, you've got uh, <laughs> Rob and. Uh, Neb at your feet. Um, Neb is sorry. Rob is is all but done for. Uh, but the other three are fleeing. What are, what are you up to? Uh, as I fall to my knees, screaming, Rob and Neb, <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast um, <laughs> Toll of the Dead. Oh, uh, Stinker. Oh, and Stinker. Ooh, okie dokie. Uh, that's a Wisdom check. Uh, again, not a strength. He's taking damage, hasn't he? So, he... sorry. Different... Yeah, he has taken damage. Yes, yeah, so it's the big dice. <laughs> Uh, Are you ready? He has got a eight. Does that beat your spell save DC? <laughs> oh, I doubt it. I, I also doubt it. <laughs> <Very strongly. laughs> uh, so it should be it should be on your spells page or your tab. I'm going to say eight beats it because I think most most spell save DCs are eight plus something. <laughs> so it is, yeah. Just having the ability to cast a spell, I think, means you've beaten that. <laughs> Uh, no, it's an empty box, so well, oh, it's okay. bigger because it's zero. We'll, so. <laughs> 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 we'll we'll sort that at some point. Um, but yeah, you definitely. Uh, how much how much damage do you unleash upon uh, on Stinker? As, as I drop to my knees, and this 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 pearl of a bell, uh, a demonic bell, obviously, uh, rings out. Uh, he takes twelve necrotic damage. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, he that max damage as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he holds on to his giant ears. Uh, he's, Did you hear that? Well, what is it? What is it? And he drops to his knees. Is this one of you? Lot? Is this one of? Uh... And he just kind of collapses down, uh, holding his ears uh, as like a puff of like black smoke leaps out of each ear. <laughs> And the other remaining three look even more terrified. Uh, is that you done, Rusty? Uh, I'm going to put a comforting hand on, on, on Rob. <laughs> okie dokie. Uh, behind you, the three remaining goblins flee into the, the night. Um, and um, Neb like carefully like rolls over Rob um, and says, Rob, help. I'm sorry about that. I was, I was trying to. I was trying to get Stinker. I, I, I know. I know, my friends. But you, you did the right thing. We, we didn't want to follow Stinker anymore. I, oh. I would have followed you to the ends of Scrambry, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My knight. My I'm gonna kneel down. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna kneel down next to Rob. Put a hand on him. No, no, that is enough for that clap trap. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna cast kill wounds. <laughs> <laughs> enough for that clap trap, lad. They'll live. Just as a tear <laughs> rolls down Neb's cheek and lands on um, <laughs> lands on Rob, the energy of Jump's wondrous magic. Brings Rob back to cure. You see the stab wound in his stomach, like sealing up, and all the black blood disappear. Uh, and he's like, "Ah, oh, 
Ah, oh, Rob! <laughs> you, you, you saved me, Neb. You saved me. And, uh... <laughs> like, oh. And, and kiss. Neb... Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Neb will, will stand up looking proud and heroic uh, and help Rob to his feet. Uh, and he will turn to the three of you. Think, I have decreed that you three shall keep your treasures in services rendered, but beware these lands in future. But I now rule as Stinker. And he will um, immediately, uh, unless any of you guys have anything, to, or cut him down, <laughs> uh, he will immediately turn around and run into the woods after the others. So, but guys, guys, come back. It's okay, come back. Uh, as he goes running off into the woods. Goblins! I'm going to wipe the tears away from... <laughs> Goblins are, are weird fellows, aren't they? That's just like this. Oh. <laughs> so uh, as they uh, head off into the woods, uh, and the uh, you're out of initiative. Well done. You very deftly dealt with some little goblinoids very quickly. Did we did we kill the big one? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's still there on the ground. He's the only one who's on the ground. I think. Oh. <laughs> the rest of them managed to escape. Well, all but one of them managed to escape, and then one got brought back to life um, by jump slash Neb's tear, depending on who you, who you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you do indeed have now uh, nine hushrooms, uh, and your freedom to continue if you guys are wishing to uh, to press on back to uh, to see the. Farmer Erin. Uh, is um, it's just a stinker that's dead. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I feel a little bit like um, well, I mean, we 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 kind of screwed him over, really, didn't we? Um, you know, oh. it's. I mean, I know you know there's people in this 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 multiverse that would have probably just massacred them and you know used their training and their things to swiftly end them. But uh, he he was kind of a tool, wasn't he? <laughs> well, in, in most uh, definitions, he he was a tool because he was an idiot. Uh, he was a tool because we used him. Uh, <sighs> I think we should take all worldly possessions and just leave him to rot under the sun, to be honest. Uh, what? <laughs> you want to rob him now that he's dead? Well, I suppose yeah, he, he, ain't got, he ain't got no use for his things anymore, has he, I suppose? Well, no. Um, Check him, he might have a frying pan. My frying pan's getting a bit <laughs> sticky. <laughs> Are you going to loot uh, Stinker? The former Stinker? <laughs> the goblin formerly known as Stinker? <laughs> Basque's not looting anything that's called Stinker. <laughs> he's like, remaining clean is a serious priority. <laughs> but you... He's going to know. Um, sort of prepare him like uh, like that while patting him down. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the L2 for one. <laughs> uh, he has on him uh, a, a small... Well, what to you, Rusty, would be a slightly sizable dagger. Um, it is a, a goblin-sized sword. It's not great... Um, Essentially, you can use it as a dagger if you wish. Uh, and he has on him... Let's uh, do a dice roll. Uh, three gold pieces. Wow. And two silver pieces. The well, finest I'll... collection of goblin gold. Does uh, does anyone want to say a few words, or uh, shall, shall we crack on? Say a few words. Eli Stinker. He lived true to his name. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> that be it. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> 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 So, free from Stinker Stench, uh, the destroyed net, and uh, any screaming mushrooms, uh, who seem to be quite calm in your backpack, Rusty, as you're going along, uh, don't seem to be screaming that much anymore. Eventually, you emerge from the 
darkness and the shade of the forest out into the bright light of the midday sun on the dry road um, leading back to Scrumbury. And not far from where you actually left it in the first place to head into the woods. It's a bit of a journey as you are going down the winding track. Uh, not many travellers about. Eventually you get to the crossroads where you saw a wagon uh, on your way out. Uh, and just beyond that you can see just over the horizon is the uh, farm, or the edge of the farm. Uh, belongs to your favourite farmer, Erin. Oh. What are you guys up to as you're approaching the old farmstead? Are we just going to like knock and run? <laughs> or are we actually going to like speak to him? Well, I mean, I think we deserve... Oh, I, I, I have prepared a little, a little ditty. Um, mm. you know, I'm quite happy to perform, you know, I really don't mind. I could draw. You know, I mean, we, we could have some kind of musical... I can, I I can, can do I can do the drums if you want. Are you, are you going to sing out the letter or are you going to make up your own... Um... Oh, no, 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 I've got my own song. <laughs> <laughs> Can I use my swarm to create like little, like little butterflies or like little something, like a little light show that looks all pretty and sparkly? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can set an atmosphere with some with some sparkly sparkly fae spirit bugs. <laughs> little, little little hummingbirds, maybe little, little gentle hummingbirds. <laughs> um. Is anybody looking at the letter from uh, thingy, or are you guys are you guys going to improv your your own uh, introduction mm. to wonderful Mister to the situation by the uh, the wonderful? I am quite interested to read what it said. You know, if anyone wants to read it out to me. Oh well, yes, sir. I, well, I can read it out to you if you want. Oh. Go on, I'm all ears. <laughs> Don't send. Do you want to send you the letter, or do you want to hear it in the voice of Tilly, uh, a la, like, yeah, yeah. in films? Oh. <laughs> uh, cool. So, yeah, as you are walking down the road, uh, you can open the thing. You can see the, the ring inside and have a quick look at the letter. Uh, it says, Dear Erin, we've had our ups and downs, uh, but I think, as you might well know, nothing will ever quite fill your heart like your farm. I need a little bit more than that if I'm to be happy, so I have decided that our union is now at an end. Uh, I have not been kidnapped, as I think you also quite know well. Uh, I have instead gone in search <laughs> of my own happiness, uh, and in some way I do hope that the, now that I'm gone, the farm can continue to provide that for you in some small way. I have asked my friends here to provide you with some compensation for the danger, the damages done to the farm by my new beau, uh, who he, for which he profusely apologises. Uh, I ask now that you do not send any more adventurers or mercenaries or the like after his head. If you do not cease this, I shall ask him to come and squish you. He has persuaded me thus far that this is a much more civilized gesture and will be much better for all of us. So please don't make me rethink that decision. Best regards, Tilly. Oh. That, that oh, was quite cool. sweet, actually. It's... You thought that were quite sweet? That were quite... Quite <laughs> abrupt, really. <laughs> yeah, well... Well, we, we, we've had a busy adventuring day. Um, maybe we'd, we could just give him the abridged version, maybe. <laughs> I'll, I'll think of something, don't worry. Uh, are we giving him the chest? Basque, do you think we should give him the chest? Um, I think so. Yeah, I mean, he's... Yeah, I, I think that's fair. As you approach, I'm oh, sorry. Because I think Basque's just like imagining like sad Erin on his like half ruined farm, like in front of the fire with like the letter and the ring with like a single tear. <laughs> just bringing so comments like, back to life with every drop. <laughs> yes. Oh no. So at least if he has the gold, he can rebuild his farm. Uh, see, as you're discussing this and approaching the farm, um, you see um, maybe the, the the kind of actual outset of the house of uh, of the the farmstead, uh, a little head poking out the door uh, as he sees you approaching, and very hurriedly runs along the the inside wall of the farm, 
which you can see on the bushes, kind of like wishing around as he kind of runs through, uh, and very excited to get to the corner of the farm, which not far from where he left you uh, the first time, and kind of like wait for you at the corner, uh, all excited as you guys approach. Erin, uh, greeting. Have you got it? Have you got it? Where's the, where's the head? I want to see it. Well, I mean, you know, I've got something to tell you. To tell you, Erin, uh, I, I, the only medium I can think for this is is, is a song. Um, Basque. What? Jump. <laughs> In the drum side. That supplies. I mean. You hear Rusty like, what, what's going on? <laughs> Shut up. <clears throat> oh, your wife ain't complaining because she's on the table baking. Here is a chest filled with some jingle gold. You're now fully single and your pockets will jingle, but you'll never see your wife ever again. <laughs> I lightly. <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause for Rusty. That was very good. <laughs> wait, wait, is she, is, is she dead? Is gold for me? Did you say? Yeah, here's your chest. Now, go away. We don't like you. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll back as a group. Uh, your attitude stinks, basically. Um, and she's found Thimble, and Thimble is Thimble is thick. <laughs> he, is a, he is a thick boy. Who, who the bloody old thimble when he's at home? Well, I'm fairly sure that my song explained all of this. Maybe, you know, if I had a song the second and third verse, you, you know, <laughs> we, we haven't got time for that. But, wait, are you are you saying that... No, that's not possible. She's shacked up with... No. And like, you just see mm-hmm. kind of like... And, and you, lot, you lot didn't do anything about it. Well, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I'd encourage them. I said you could get some magical rope to increase uh, pleasure. And um, <laughs> well, we, we, we slept in their house. Um, oh, we, we had a nice time, actually. You know, <laughs> they were far nicer hosts than you ever were, to be honest. Uh, um, we brought you this letter <laughs> and the gold. <laughs> and he, he'll snatch the letter off you and... Um... And then, it, before even reading it, he'll he'll offer his hand out to take the gold, <laughs> the chest from you, <laughs> and uh, and place and like have a quick look inside. And like you see, it's like his face lights up, and he puts it down by his feet, and then reads the letter. And he's got his grumpy face again. I, I, I can't be- believe it. I, you hire adventurers to 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 slay a terrible kidnapping monster, and and you, you take the monster's side at them. I'll. I'll, I'll rubbish your name to anybody who walks past. I can't believe that, that, that kind of... Unbelievable. Um, um, well... I mean... If you're going to say that anyway, he kind of goes to take the gold back. Uh, no! no oh, it, it's a... I guess it's a fairish settlement, I suppose. And I can, oh, I can get that extended farm, actually. I know we can expand the west field. Oh, uh, yes, I, mm, I suppose. Uh, and he kind of, uh, he's, he, yeah, he seems very uh, upset about the whole the whole process. So, are you going to promise us that you're going to leave Tilly and Thimble alone? Oh, yes, yes, I won't send any more adventure, especially not adventures like you lot, after uh, after them. Thimble. Good, because uh, well, yeah, we obviously we know where you live. Um, it'd be a shame to have to come back and visit you, you know, or, <laughs> or maybe. Uh, well, wait, I mean, didn't didn't Thimble give us that that device that uh, that he said if ever you need someone smashing into a pulp job, he he said just to use it, didn't he? <laughs> he did actually. I mean. <laughs> It was quite a quite a heated discussion on whether that would just be would just do that rather than give give the, yeah. the man a chance. He was a very 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 large angry ogre, not a troll, an ogre. He an was ogre. bigger, especially uh, yeah when he found out how how little offer reward you'd offered for his Tilly. And 
Well, you can forget oh. getting any of that now. You've not done the mission, but I, uh, but I, I yes, I, I, I've, and he kind of, you see him like scanning the letter. He's like, yeah, I, I don't really want to, to pursue this any, any further, I suppose. And you're kind of looking about you trying to find out, like, if you can see this device that you have on you. <laughs> and, uh, uh, it, it, this, this will do me. I'll, 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 uh, oh, I can get that nice new chair as well, actually. And you can see he's kind of like, begins like counting through the, through the gold. Um, uh, Largely ignoring you guys. <laughs> you know, I, I, I understand why Tilly said he was very unsatisfactory. I get that now. <laughs> I get that now. Didn't she say something like, he's such a little man? <laughs> I didn't understand that, but I guess it's just like, little of char character, you know. <laughs> just really, she said, she said really tiny. And she holds up a little pinky claw. <laughs> really tiny. <laughs> And she just didn't get any satisfaction. And, Can uh, understand it. He'll pick up the chest and like hold it close to him uh, in his arms. Like, she, she didn't know what she was on about, and and will storm off into the uh, into the the tall grass fields towards the uh, the house. You see it kind of like cool wafting back. away. She said that are you. <laughs> <laughs> Have we still got her wedding ring. Uh, no, it was in the envelope. Depends on whether you took it out. Oh, was it? Did, did we did we give that back, or have we purloined it? <laughs> it's up to you. You can you can have not given it. <laughs> Who are you going to collect wedding rings? If you want to keep hold of the wedding ring of uh, of Erin, the farmer, and Tilly, <laughs> that, that's up to you. The start. Well, it's it's nice and sparkly, you see, and I <laughs> I don't have a hoard of my own, and I would have quite quite liked it. A Maybe Stinker had a wedding ring. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, is Baskin a jump? Are you guys okay with uh, sorry, Baskin Rusty? Sorry, are you guys okay with jump keeping the the wedding ring? I'm going. I'm going to walk over to jump and I, I, I see what you're doing there, jump. What? And what? What am I doing? I understand, and I'm gonna I'm gonna just gently take the wedding ring. Uh, place it on the floor with the three gold and the two silver pieces. You, you build your little hoard, John. You build your hoard. <laughs> oh, small, small, small things can grow bigger, I suppose. Bit right, nurturing. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I wanted to massacre that man, um, but you know we, we're better people, and uh, but yeah. It always damages gate on the way out. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Has he got a letterbox? <laughs> he will he'll have a letterbox at the end of the road. So as as we we pan out, as you guys uh, make the final leg towards Scrumbury, returning back home, uh, do we see <laughs> do we see a vandalised um, uh, letterbox in the foreground? <laughs> Postbox in the foreground. <laughs> Just the file. Um I'm gonna smear it, which because I've still got the nasty mushrooms. I'm gonna also smear it with the nasty mushrooms that I <laughs> I massacred. Uh, Rusty's gonna just write uh, L I L above L. <laughs> and Bath is going to set a very small trap by the. <laughs> Letterbox, so that if he goes to clear it off, <laughs> get, get a little, a little, little trap, trap. <laughs> little snap trap, claws removed. We're not monsters. That, that is the most passive aggressive thing I've ever seen in my life. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We don't like Erin. <laughs> no. And there we go. You guys heading back to Scrumby, which we will uh, return to next week. Uh, well done, guys. You uh, managed to make it out of uh, the Sweetwood and out of the field and on the road back to Scrumbry and uh, have dealt with the true horror of Eren. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was the real monster. He was the real monster. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for playing, guys, and thank you for um, yeah playing with your brand new level three characters. It's been very fun to see all the fun things uh, running about in the in the <laughs> rather brutal combat with um, <laughs> with the goblins. <laughs> they were just annihilated. 
was a uh, surprise. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you've got them uh, largely sorted now. But we will return in a week's time for more action in Jammy Dodgers. Uh, in the meantime, I have been JStation64. Uh, I will next be live on my own channel over on Sunday where I play Retro N64 games at um, this channel. Does this work? No, it doesn't. <laughs> 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 I thought I had that down as a thing. Apparently, I don't. Oh, nothing's <laughs> working. Oh, never mind. Um, anyway, so you can find me at that channel. It, it, it's it's around. Just look for my name. Uh, <laughs> in the meantime, uh, we also have with us the wonderful Rusty. Thank you for joining uh, us. Hello. Uh, I play Rusty Duma who uh, is his mission in life to not actually use any of his abilities <laughs> or hit people. So. <laughs> but uh, I am RevTed. I make videos about old things on the internet, um, including a computer, which I picked up. I, I, I didn't immediately stop the car on the way home and put the computer in, but okay, maybe I did. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so there'll be a video about that soon. So Excellent stuff. Looking forward to seeing that. Uh, we have Basque with us. You're joining us this evening, Basque. Uh, thank you. Thank you for running. Thank you everyone else for playing. Um, so I am Ghost of Sunny, and you, well, you can find me running a Vassen TTRPG on our YouTube channel, Little Ghost of Games. That was very long. I know I had stuff to say, that's what I've got to say. I've got a YouTube channel where you can also find the rest of our adventures in Scrumbury and you can also find um, our ongoing Crescent roleplay, which we have one adventure completed and there is another one on the way shortly. Yay! Excellent stuff. Uh, and last and uh, no way least, we have the wonderful Amadon. Hello there. This week I have mostly been being John. See you next week, or Mother will be very cross. <laughs> True. True words. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We will see you next week, and I hope you all have a wonderful week. And we'll catch you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.